Hi, my summary of the privacy implications is there on the screen that Australia has international obligations to provide an adequate protection against interference with privacy, which sounds grand, but in fact our response is very piecemeal and very inconsistent. It comprises three different areas, privacy of information, uh, privacy of communications, which can be regarded as privacy from surveillance, and personal privacy of the common law. So far as privacy of information is concerned, that includes things like uh, a, an image that can identify a person. And again, there's Commonwealth laws, there's state laws. At a Commonwealth level, the law only applies to Commonwealth agencies. So if you're a researcher with a Commonwealth agency, those laws will apply. Or a private organisation with an annual turnover of $3 million or more. The laws that apply under the Commonwealth law are called the Australian Privacy Principles. And they apply to things like the uh, collection, the storage, the use uh, and disclosure of uh, personal information, those images. At a state level, the states uh, have enacted things called the Information Privacy Principles, the IPPs, that are similar to the APPs. As far as the, uh, but as I say, that only applies to personal information and that could be a person's image. As far as the common law is concerned, well, we're the only uh, major Commonwealth, common law country, that's pretty much the Commonwealth countries, that don't have protection for personal privacy. The most we have is existing uh, common law actions, such as trespass, trespass to land, private nuisance, which is an interference, an unreasonable interference with someone's property, or in the case of um, disclosures, um, something called a breach of confidence action. So in the case of a, a use of a drone, you can have uh, a, really two forms of, of interference with uh, privacy, uh, a, um, a, an, an unreasonable uh, interference or invasion uh, by um, intrusion, and then the disclosure of the information that you collect, which might be, uh, again, those images. But very um, limited uh, uh, remedies for people whose uh, privacy has been uh, uh, intruded. Um, for example, uh, trespass won't be uh, committed if someone keeps the drone outside of someone's property line, or if they fly above what's known as a reasonable user. That might be uh, above the rooftop and some height above that. But uh, above the level to the skies uh, is not uh, regarded as uh, committing a trespass. When it comes to the surveillance laws, we have eight jurisdictions, of course, in Australia. Uh, three of those, Queensland, the ACT and Tasmania, don't have visual surveillance laws. So there's nothing there stopping drones from uh, taking images of uh, people. The other five jurisdictions, do have visual surveillance laws, but they're all con inconsistent. They're not uniform. So for example, the Victorian law doesn't apply to anything occurring outside of a building. The South Australian law doesn't apply to anything in public. So a, a very uh, uneven landscape when it comes to privacy protection in Australia. Five law reform commission uh, have uh, inquiries have recommended that there be uniform laws, but no government has yet enacted uh, that, uh, those recommendations of having uh, a statutory cause of action protecting privacy. I've left there on the, sky, on the screen uh, an article there that if you're interested uh, in further reading, uh, you can read that one there, uh, the, the dawn of the age of drones. So that's the situation when it comes to privacy in Australia a very uneven and not a very satisfactory situation at the moment.